Hi everyone and welcome to Wind Down Wednesday. I'm your host, Dr. Christine Sarna, and I'm actually the wellness director here at Paradise Med Spa and Wellness. I am filling in for Dr. Weiss today. And we have a, a special guest today, Dr. Nicole Turcott, and she's gonna be talking about peptide therapy. And of course, I also have Janet, our office manager here. She's gonna kind of like run the show and do what she does. Um, <laughs> I've actually known Dr. Turcott now for, um, five plus years. I met her through BioT. Remember, that's the company that we do hormone optimization with, and we'll probably touch base on that again today as well. But um, Nicole, just why don't you start by telling our audience a little bit about yourself? Well, thank you. I'm happy to be here, and I've been, I can't even believe it's been that long already. Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, I practiced for over 13 years um, as a naturopath in New York City, and my background is all natural therapies, um, lots of nutrition, hormones, and as everybody can most likely relate to, lots of stress. So had lots of different cases and experiences to um, learn. It was great. So. I do specialize in the hormone side of it and that people forget that includes your blood sugar too, your adrenals, your thyroid. So we do pay attention to everything, but that's more or less my background and my specialty, so to speak. That's awesome. And we are so glad to have you as well. Um, before we actually jump in talking about peptides, Janet, what kind of wine are we drinking today? Mm, we are drinking um, one of my favorites, a layer cake Pinot Noir. And um, this is a 2018 vintage. It runs uh, 14 to $16, but I love it because it's great for the summer. It's, it's light and fruity without being too, too fruity. It has um, cranberries, pomegranate, those kind of flavors with like little under notes of chocolate in it. And I love anything with a dark chocolate flavor in it. Um, and dark chocolate's good for you, right? Absolutely. Um, so um, that's what we're drinking today. What do you guys think? I, think I it's actually really like it. Mm -hmm, me too. I am enjoying it a lot. I think it's the perfect red wine for summer. It's so light. And that's what I think I like about it because I love red and I'm always looking for something lighter to drink when it's hot. Mm -hmm. um, and this is perfect. Yeah, I prefer like a Cabernet for winter. But yeah. um, a Pinot Noir is actually really good with turkey at Thanksgiving time. Just yeah. a little tip for the upcoming months. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah, it actually pairs really nicely. Awesome. Well, Jenna, why don't you tell us about the specials we're running this month? Okay, great. So for the month of August, um, for those people who are interested in stimulating their collagen, we have um, Sculptra, which is, it's injected like a filler, but it's, um, it's basically um, like a liquid base. So you don't get the immediate volume from it, but it actually stimulates your body, allows your body to stimulate its own collagen. So a lot of us start to get hollows, you know, right here in our temples or right in front of the ear here. We can actually round out the face, giving it a more youthful appearance by stimulating, um, by stimulating your own collagen with Sculptra. And we have $200 off two vials. And then usually most people get two to three vials. Some need a little bit more. It just depends. But a consult with Dr. Weiss will let you know what you could probably need. And then we also have $75 off a VI peel, one of my favorites also. Um, and that you can do any time of year. And the fact that we're all kind of stuck inside this time of year, it's a great time to do a VI peel to freshen up the skin, get rid of those sunspots, control some of that oil or acne, if that's something that you're dealing with, but it has great anti-aging properties too. We also have 50% off Sente sunscreen when you purchase a dermal repair cream. And uh, the dermal repair cream is super hydrating, yet it's not real thick and heavy. Love, love that line. And then we also have the um, Prolon fast, uh, fast Mimicking Diet. It's normally $250, but if you buy three cycles of it, you're saving $100. So it's $650 to get three cycles. So you would do those, I believe, Dr. Sarno, one a month for the next three months. Is that yeah. the thought on that? That is correct, yes. And I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about that. So 
This particular program we have featured before as well. And you basically do a fasting for five days and you repeat that after 25 days. So you're five days on, 25 days off, five days on for three cycles. And people probably have heard about fasting and some of its benefits, but really this is to help rejuvenate your cells and all the energy that is supposed to be produced from them um, and create a brand new you know, body basically. And so that's how it helps so many. I mean, people tend to do it because they wanna lose weight, but really what it was created for, uh, Dr. Longo is who did all the research um, he was basically studying centurions, you know, the people that live forever with minimal chronic disease and looking at their diet and the things that they did. And so he came up with this program. When we go into a fasting state, our body actually purges cells that need to be destroyed and gotten rid of and start to create brand new cells. And so this is an opportunity to basically purge garbage and rejuvenate all new cells, even make new stem cells. People have heard all about stem cell therapies. So that's kind of what it is doing. But obviously when you're fasting, you're going to lose weight. The benefits of doing this program also are on your insulin resistance. Um, you're gonna reduce insulin resistance. And so it's great for pre-diabetics and even diabetics to be doing because if you can change on a cellular basis what is happening, then you should maintain your benefits for the long run. He suggests folks do it in a cycle of three series at least one time per year. Those folks that might have a lot more garbage purging that's necessary might do it multiple times in one year. But it's really, really cool. I'm gonna pull over this box that kind of shows you what you get. So the box, it, everything you're going to eat for the five days comes in this box. By the way, prolon means prolonging your longevity. I like it. I'm going to take out one of these. So basically, each day has a box like this labeled with, you know, one, two, three, four, and five. And for example, what is in day one, basically it looks like this. Can't really see it that well, but basically you are going to have in the morning for your, what you might have is your breakfast, a bar that is going to be your breakfast. You can um, have herbal teas are in here. For your lunch, you're going to have a soup. You also are going to have these kale crackers. For a later snack, you are going to have these olives. For your dinner, you're going to have another soup. And you may also have um, another um, thing of olives. And then you also get a little fun desserty snack thing at, in the evening. So it really has you consuming some nutrients throughout the day. So you're not truly fasting like a water fast would be, but it keeps you in um, a fasting state. So how wonderful is that to actually get all the benefits of fasting for five full days, but actually getting to take some nutrients in so that you're not like feeling like you're going to pass out and, and whatnot. Um, and it's really good. I mean, everything in here um, is um, gluten-free, sugar-free, yada, yada, those types of things. They have a line that is also even more specific to folks that have sensitivities to nightshades. So there's a, there's a way to kind of get around, of, around, pardon me, different food sensitivities by using this type of program. So I would encourage anybody who's interested in um, this program to contact us. You can certainly come and make a consultation. We can talk about it. Um, or if you want to go um, learn about it on your own and then purchase it from us, you can do that as well. We have in the office these books um, called The Longevity Diet that um, are free and we are happy to give you one. This kind of talks about all the research and, and what went into coming up with this program, if you will. Um, and you can um, do that first if you wanna just learn more about it and whatnot. It is important, I will just say, that you do talk to a medical professional before starting a program like this. Um, because you know, if you have especially insulin 
um, dependent diabetes and some other issues, we may need to talk about some um, closer monitoring and, and modifications. So it's not something just to you know, grab off the shelf and do without having a discussion. So I would just put that plug in too. It's so easy to do the program and it actually tastes good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just finished it last month and I thought it was going to be really hard because it's so hot outside and you know, kind of the main things you're eating is soups, but you know what? It wasn't at all. It was not really that big a de big of a deal at all. That's great. And can you exercise while you're doing this fast mimicking diet? You know, that's a good um, question. And we don't really recommend that you continue with intense exercise. If you can imagine if you were um, fasting, you would have less fuel to do your exercise. Now we want to stay active, go for a walk, do some, you know, stretching with yoga, those are all fine, but it wouldn't be the time to, you know, go for a five mile run or a big long hike. You're just not going to have quite enough fuel to meet the demands of what you're putting your body through. Great, thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, Alrighty. perfect. So, um, yeah, should we move on over to peptides? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so Dr. Nicole Turcotte is going to tell us about peptide therapy and, and what peptides are. I'll kind of start with a little bit, but you know, these things are just natural amino acid um, chains that are cell signalers. And basically it's trying to get a message from point A to point B. And there's all kinds of peptides in the body that do all kinds of different things. And so Dr. Turcotte's gonna go through some of the peptides that we're using and some of the benefits you can get from them. Great, thanks. Well, and as you know, you have used some of them and many people are probably familiar with peptides, they just don't know it. For instance, H HCG is a peptide. So if anybody has experienced that, um, there's just an example for you. But as Dr. Sarna said, peptides are just signaling molecules. They're giving the body, the brain, if you will, some direction. And on a regular basis, um, peptides communicate with your pituitary gland. And a lot of times in these therapies, we do ask that you, whether it's inject or oral, a lot of times at the end of the day. And your pituitary gland pulses at night when you're sleeping. One, one good pulse and it has a certain rhythm and a cycle. So by adding in a peptide, we're asking the body to just kind of pick up the pace a little. Um, and what I mean by that is just to provide and signal more growth, repair, whatever the peptide is communicating. One of the things that I love about peptides is that they're super safe. And so that's a question that we get a lot. You do need to talk to somebody to know what's right for you. It's not something you can just buy over the counter. And they are a lot of them very specific. And there are ones, when I say even though specific, they are general at a certain point. There's a group of peptides that focus specifically on repair. So that would include muscle building, repairing ligaments, tissue, things of that nature. There are peptides that focus on weight loss, which could be either focus on fat burning capabilities or maybe enhancing the other processes of the body. Um, so it runs the gamut. There is, it just depends on what's happening with you. The most important thing though, I think for most of our viewers is that it's really important to have a good foundation within your body. To show up and not be living a healthy lifestyle but wanna do the peptide therapy, it'll work, but it won't work nearly as good as having a solid, clean foundation in your body. And it's all a process. And so these things are not things that you would do when I say forever, every day. There's different courses of therapy. And um, Dr. Sana, I'll let you decide which, what you'd like to talk about first as far as what we are using, because we are using a good variety of peptides. Yeah. So one of the main ones that we're um, using right now is the Samorlin. And Samorlin in general is going to have multiple benefits for you. Um, Folks that are really wanting to focus on 
getting better muscle mass and leaning out are kind of the ones that start to get interested like hey what else could I be doing to help me I've already I'm eating a healthy diet I'm exercising I need a little bit of an edge and that Samorlin um, is what I would say we were doing the most of right now it lists that it will also improve sleep quality enhance your memory increase your sex drive um, but I th would say and you would I'm sure will speak to this is that most of the folks coming to you are complaining that they're really doing a lot of things to help get themselves more lean and they're not getting there. Is that correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. And that is, look, and most of the people that are showing up have been evaluated hormonally. We know their thyroid's okay. We know their hormones are balanced. And like you said, you're putting in a lot of time, effort, energy, and you're not seeing your body look the way that you think it should. So, and for a lot of people, that's, that's a reality. They get stuck. I had a young woman today and she said, this has never happened to me before. She's only 42. She's like, this year, I, I just cannot, I can usually adjust my lifestyle and, you know, lose a few pounds, but she's stuck. And so she's had super stressful year as many people have, and then a stressful year before that. And so it builds up. Right, so we want to make sure that, okay, hormones are balanced, and then once we know that, think of peptides as enhancing anything that you're doing, and I mean in a good, positive way. Um, we do also use them for repair, and many people who do receive hormones here, um, if you've had a surgery or you're going in for a procedure elsewhere, we know how important it is to have the body strong before going so that you can have a good recovery. And what I will tell you is that the patients have had amazing results as far as recovery and pain going away. And it's not, it's different from the hormones because you, you know, those things bring you to a certain level and most people are like, okay, what else, like you said, what else can we do? Because they're feeling good and they want to stay feeling good. So I, and Samorlin is one of, it is one of my favorites. It's one of the ones that I've done and that I do do yearly on a regular cycle. Um, and we do use it in anti-aging slash wellness protocol for overall health. But the truth is, if you do that in succession, there's certain time frames for them. In six months, you continue to see the benefit. That's what's awesome about it. Yeah. So one of the things I was going to point out to you, and not to you, to our viewers, is what you said about stress. So these peptides, as you said, are kind of stimulating through the pituitary to get to particular outcomes. And one of the biggest hits the pituitary takes is stress. Mm -hmm. So when we have stress, it could be physical stress, it can be mental stress, it can be environmental stress. That is the main thing that hits our pituitary and allows it or creates a dysfunction. And so when you bring a product in like Samorlin or other peptides, you're basically trying to get that obstruction out of the way and get back to a normal optimal function. And so I think that that's another reason why this woman that you saw today felt stuck this year because mm -hmm. this year she has huge stress and COVID. Last year she had stress. So her pituitary's ability to talk to the body and make certain things happen is what is not working. And so the Samorlin is going to help her quite a bit uh, get through that obstruction. Yeah, it's, it's, it is amazing. And it's, it is one of those things, again, another common question, no, how do I know it's working? Is it something I'm going to feel? And so what I will tell you um, is that you might not necessarily feel a whole lot in the first month. It, it is a cumulative effect, but you will see subtle changes and you will feel a difference. I mean, I can remember the very first time that I was doing the therapy, I was taking a yoga practice and I've been practicing yoga for 20 something years and I'm in practice and, I'm, and my, the thought that came to my mind is, wow, I'm really strong. And I just usually don't have that thought, you know, I'm usually, you know, swearing in my head or, you know, whatever else goes through my head as I'm trying to keep up with everybody, you know, everyone has that experience. But that really was a game changer for me because that's not my normal train of thought. Yeah. Right. And so you do feel it at a deep level, but you will see it also as a, again, as I mentioned, just when you stop your therapy, it doesn't stop working. It's cumulative and it builds up and it continues to work. So basically, for instance, if you took uh, some oral in for a 90 day course, which is what we normally would recommend in six months, you're still going to be seeing the body change. It doesn't stop or go away. 
And that's also, it's encouraging and it's exciting and it works. So it's really easy to use. Yeah. That's the other thing. Did you have a question, Janet? Yeah, I was um, wondering, it sounds to me like hormone replacement therapy and then peptide therapy can work like in, a, in an orchestra with each other. So Absolutely. it's not like one necessarily replaces the other is what I'm hearing. Correct. It builds. So think about layering, mm -hmm. right? Layering. We're going to fill in the, we're going to fix the hole in the bucket. Then we're going to fill the bucket. And then we're going to add something fun, like a yellow rubber ducky or something on the top. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, great. Yeah. No, I like it. So, um, Dr. Turcotte, tell the viewers kind of how the peptides are used. Like, are they, are they by mouth? Are they injections? Like, how do you usually use them? So they come in, they do come in various forms. Many of them are injectable, which I know a lot of people don't like needles. Um, what I will tell you is for the most part, we use very, very small, tiny insulin needles. And if it's an injection, 99% of the time, it's a sub-Q injection. So, I mean, we're talking about those little teeny needles. You barely feel them when you inject them. There are orals, yes, some are, some are taken in capsules, some are taken in melts, which some of you might be familiar with, like a lozenge type thing. Um, it depends on what ails you. So for instance, one of the ones that, one of the peptides that I really have had great success with is the oral BPC-157. Um, that is specific for healing the gastric lining for the actual stomach. Um, I've had many, many people that have, are so sensitive to tons of foods, and especially I'm thinking of one woman in general who she's like, I just want to eat a little dark chocolate. Every time she ate it, it just burned her stomach so bad, and um, she had really weird allergies, and really she was suffering for years, and she did this 20-day course of the oral, and she's like, not that, and she's not a junk food eater, so just know that she does have a sweet tooth. But she cannot believe all the time, money, everything that she spent to try to figure out what's wrong. And this fixed it in less than a month. So that's, that's exciting. You know, yeah, it's a big deal. And anybody who's been suffering with anything chronic, you know what I'm talking about. Because that in itself will exhaust you. Yeah, perfect. There are also peptides I want to bring to light that are specifically for decreasing inflammation and helping with repair and uh, regeneration, and this, these are kind of targeted for pain. And so that's another thing that we wanna start using in the practice as well. I mean, our pain management specialists are probably the ones that most folks go to for pain, but when we have conversations with our patients about whatever, they're always gonna share with us, well, yeah, you know, I, I was running and I, and I, I pulled something and I, you know, I, I've been resting it, but it just doesn't seem like it wants to get better and I really wanna get back to my exercise or whatnot. And, that's another um, place where you can use peptide therapy. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, my, and my partner recently had his hip replaced and he's not that old. It was a genetic issue, which he didn't know either, but um, I do believe, I mean, he was up and walking, they get you up right away, but within two weeks, he did not have the walker or the cane. And we did do the round of the thymus and beta. So that's specific for tissue injury and repair. That's one you would, absolutely want to do after any kind of surgery. Um, it just enhances the entire effect. And I just, I really do feel that he barely took payments. That's so fantastic. I, I know, I think about that. That's, that's big. That's big. Yeah. yeah. We're going to, um, we've ordered a, some peptides to include the thymus and beta four and pentacin sulfate, et cetera, for Elfie. So she's going to be our guinea pig. So for those okay. of you who have seen her in the office, um, with pelleting or whatnot, she's been having some sciatic type issues, and I'm sure she won't mind that we're saying this. Um, and so we're going to start treating her with the peptides to see if we can help recover her, because the options that she's kind of been given have been the epidural steroid injections and, and other more in-depth um, procedures that she's not really comfortable doing at this point. So we're going to try some of these anti-inflammatory peptides that will in help her with repair and recovery and healing. And so I'm excited to see how she does. And so, you know, if we swing back in a month or two on Wind Down Wednesday, we might give you an update on how well she did. There you go. Yes, you'll have to ask her when you come in. <laughs> now, the last type of peptides that I wanted to bring to light is kind of very timely right now with the whole COVID crisis 
um, and viral insults, etc. And that is the thymosin alpha one. Um, so thymosin alpha one specifically is going to modulate that whole cytokine reaction that occurs. And maybe those of you that have been listening to some of the docs about the COVID virus and what's happening in the body, one of the biggest insults that are occurring that's creating such a, the, such a problem is this whole cytokine reaction. That's an inflammatory reaction, basically, which totally whacks out your immune system. And so that's really why folks tend to be getting so very sick. It's interesting, by the way, with the virus, some people will get it and have very mild symptoms, but others will really go down this pathway where this huge cytokine reaction has occurred and they get very ill. Yeah. So something like thymosin alpha-1 would be useful in that situation to prevent that cytokine reaction. And so it's being used by a lot of different doctors in different places, but not obviously globally, because you know these therapies aren't something that the uh, pharmaceutical companies are selling and so therefore we're not seeing it out on the market all the time um, but yeah that's something pretty exciting that we can also get our hands on to help our patients who um, are ill with COVID or or maybe they are very high risk and perhaps would need some preventive right. strategies. Yeah and we have a lot of chronic just people of chronic illness it wears you down and it does make you more susceptible to contract mm -hmm. to getting anything basically. Mm -hmm. It's really important. People do not really understand um, how imperative it is to control inflammation in the body. Yeah. It's really, it's a big deal. Quality of life, people, that's what we're looking, you know, it's not just about looking good. We want to feel good while we're looking good, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So one of the other peptides that we do use too is the melanotan peptide, mm -hmm. which that one, it, it does relate more to the skin, but it does also enhance um, libido, and it does work for both men and women. And we have two that actually do enhance libido, the PT-141 as well does that, and that's because they're from the same family. The cool thing about these peptides is that um, it's very infrequent. You do a loading dose for about two weeks and then it's maybe a once a week injection and you do it to yourself. But it pulls um, the melanin up in your skin to the surface. Therefore, you're gonna look tan. The reason that peptide does that, it actually provides that built-in UV protection. The darker your skin is, the less you can absorb from the sun. So for some people, that's not a good thing. But for most people who are very, very fair and pale or have had any kind of history of skin lesions, skin cancer type of issues, that's what this is for. So the, kind of the side effect is you look good, but it protects your skin at the same time. So, and it enhances your libido. It's definitely a win-win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that one, and it's easy, you know, so... A lot of people who just can't even go out in the sun now can go out that still wear sunscreen. It's not, not like that, but it is actually supportive and protective. So, and the side, the side effects are bonus. <laughs> right. <laughs> Big bonus. How long has peptide therapy been in use? Oh gosh, it has been around for a very long time. Um, there are quite a few biologics which are are prescription medications um, that are actually peptides that have been um, patented. Um, okay. The tanning one that we were discussing is one of them that is actually um, a pharmaceutical product at a different level, but for the same purpose, prescribed for the same purpose, more for the skin, not for the sexual enhancement. And I don't actually know of a lot of places that are actually using the peptides for sexual enhancement, which is too bad. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thank you. They're very safe, Janet. And that's one of the things that, you know, early on in my career, I had a choice to really follow and study herbs, which I have no problem with herbal formulations or products or nutrition. And for me, I chose nutrition. And the reason for that was because so many people show up on medications and the herbs can have an interaction. And what people don't really know is that a lot of medications are made from an herbal product. They alter the genetics of it a bit so they can patent it. So my, just how I focus on things, it's more about nutrition, vitamins. So 
I'm not conservative necessarily, but I'm conservative in the fact that I don't want to have to worry about anything interfering with the right. therapy. Yeah. So um, that was, and you know, that it's, it's worked for me and the patient so far. So mm -hmm. I, I feel that's okay. <laughs> Well, and I feel like the cannot. fact that you feel like you can practice and help your patients in a safe manner, I mean, that's really the best thing. They're not um, trading one thing for another. Right. right. And that's important. It's important because, you know, when you want to change to a healthy lifestyle, it can seem so disruptive. And mm -hmm. these, are, these kind of therapies are things you can do that don't disrupt everything. It's something easy to add in and it, you really get a big bang for your buck. <laughs> Because you, just, you feel it, you see the changes, you feel it. And look, the truth is if things are balanced, you shouldn't have to work too hard. Consistency is the key. Consistency and moderation in everything and the whole 80-20 rule, you'll be healthy. Right. It's yeah. really the consistency I think that people have the hardest time with. Are there any, um, are there any um, side effects that people might sometimes experience? Um, it depends on the peptide itself. Um, some of them, for instance, the tanning one, um, the side effects could be nausea. Okay. Some people could get nausea, some people don't. It could be minor reaction at the skin site. I have found once I have people on Smorlin for a while, if they tell me all of a sudden, like when they're injecting, they're getting a rash or it's sore, I know that they're saturated. So mm -hmm. yes, so there are side effects, but not side effects like you read on a prescription drug label. Right, right. Pretty much there's very few things, very few peptides that you can't, that, that you can't use if you're taking medication. They're really, it's, it's really, it's good for everyone. You just have to know what's right for you. Right. And that's where you guys come into play. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, kind of right. a, that's an important point too. Yeah. So one of the things that we do here at Paradise Men's Spine Wellness is we have providers, we have medical providers that meet with our patients um, so that we can construct a program for them that is very individualized. Some of these things that we talk about, we'll sometimes say, well, hey, I, I can just get that on the internet or I can just get this over here. It's really, really, really important that you are evaluated by a medical professional with respect to all of your medical conditions, different prescriptions that you're on, to help determine what products are best for you and how they're going to work. And Dr. Turcott kind of brought this up in the very beginning. If there are particular obstructions downstream and we start pushing from above to try to improve everything, we're just gonna get a traffic jam. So we have to really look at the whole person and make sure that everything is as balanced and in a homeostasis as possible so that when we start pushing on buttons, we're actually getting the benefits that we want. So we would, we basically re, uh, have you call to make an appointment to have a consultation. Right now we're doing that mostly with Dr. Turcott regarding if you know you are a good candidate for peptide therapy and what would benefit you most. And so um, if you're interested, that would be your first step is to, to um, schedule that consultation. Yeah, we just, look, we do want to do a thorough background, um, but also want to get to know you and what the needs are, because some of the peptides are very similar, and there's just one distinction between two, and it could be the distinction that that person actually needs and makes all the difference for their therapy, for whatever their goal is, right? right? It's, it is important, and I just, I do want to encourage people, look, I am... I am a shopper and I am a total bargain hunter, but I will just tell you, it is not worth price hunting for your health. It just isn't. And I do, have, look, some of the stuff is expensive. I will tell you all, I do it myself and I've made many sacrifices. It's worth it. So I just encourage you, ask the question and, and compare. You can gather information and compare. You do want the education. You want to be able to call someone and say, oh, I have this thing going on and not have the person go, uh, I'll have to check. You know, a definite yes, no, oh, it's not related, it is. Do that, you know, it's really important. Absolutely. And it sounds like you can customize this really well. So someone may need more than one type of peptide. Yes, I actually work together. Yes, I have a couple of people, um, Earlier this year, I had done um, 
a weight loss protocol with someone and we decided after I said we're going to do this part with the HCG and then we're going to add this peptide and it just changed it motivated her and changed her mm. in such a way that she's like okay I'm doing this next year again yeah so she now she's going to do it for wellness first she did it for weight loss right so now it's changing her focus is changing right it was to overcome a problem and now next time it's well because we don't we're doing preventative i don't want it back right it yeah. makes sense that's exciting and i know who you're talking about and it's so <laughs> exciting every time she walks in the office she looks like a million bucks and you can tell she feels like a million bucks too right and that's what we want that's what we want yeah feeling good from the inside out yes absolutely yeah I love what you guys are doing and I think it's awesome that we're continuing to enhance our offerings to be able to address all the different needs that our patients have. And I feel like you're on cutting edge here. Well, we are, and this, you know, that's the other thing too, right, Dr. Sana, there are places, there are people who they do want to wait and wait and wait and wait until everybody's tried it and then they're okay with it. And then there are others who I'm always looking for the latest and greatest and look, we're all, when I say um, research base, there's plenty of studies and literature to back up what we do. Um, and that is important to us as professionals. And we are looking for the latest and greatest, safest, easiest things for you to integrate as well. Yeah. Because we're people too. And so, you know, I always think about it. Would I do it? You know, that's, I, that's the first question I ask myself. Oh, would I do that? Mm. You know, I'm, okay, that's how my patience is going to feel. So it has to be worth it sometimes to make the change, right? Yeah. The benefit has to be big. Yeah. It is super exciting, all the different things that uh, we're doing at Wellness. Um, first, we introduced the BioT method for doing bioidentical hormones with the pellets, and that has been amazing. And we've had so many life changes for patients because of that. And now we're kind of adding into the realm all the peptide therapies, which is really going to enhance those building blocks with hormone optimization. Um, nutrition and lifestyle is so important and decreasing the inflammation in your body. And that's where that prolonged fasting mimicking diet comes in. Um, so there's so many pieces to overall, not only being healthy, but feeling healthy. And I, we're going to continue to try to touch on all of those areas and have that to offer to our patients because it's never a one size fits all, right? It has to be so customized. Exactly, and that is the thing I was just gonna say, that's the beauty of having these tools. You can build customized programs just based on people's needs. They don't have to, it doesn't have to be cookie cutter. They can right. get exactly what they need and that is you know, and you know, that's, that was one of the biggest attractions to the pellet. Yeah. So it does, it works. Yeah. Very what you cool. need. Everyone's different. Yeah. Great. So Janet, do you have any other questions that you might prompt us with? You know, I was just thinking, is there anything else that you want patients to know about um, the use of peptides or peptide therapy? I feel like we've covered a lot of ground today. So maybe let's talk about the process. So if you're mm -hmm. interested, what's your first step? So I'm going to recommend that you call the office and you schedule an appointment with Dr. Turcott. Um, this will be a 30 minute consultation that you will have. And at that appointment, you will you know, basically talk about your concerns, your desires, where you want to be. And she will come up with a plan or a program for you that might include doing some blood work. It might include, you know, multiple steps of it, of, um, gathering information before a plan is made, but the idea is we're going to create a plan. And then if peptides are what is going to be part of that plan, then that will be the next phase of what you're going to do. And um, following that kind of program, and there's going to be follow-up and there's going to be check-in and all of that. I mean, we, I think we're very good here at Curtis Med Spa and Wellness about taking care of our patients. It's We're not just a, a storefront where you come in and you buy something and you walk out the door and hope for the best. And so kind of the first step will be making that appointment um, to talk to Dr. Turcotte about what your issues are and what peptides might be best for you. 
Yeah, and it's, it runs the gamut when it comes to the peptides. Don't be afraid to ask if we have something for it. One of the, one of the favorites is the, the peptide that we use for anxiety. It's not a drug, non-addictive, works like a charm, take as needed. It's a peptide and it's an oral peptide. So yeah. that's why we need to talk to you. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And we're taking appointments now for September. It's hard to believe that we're almost I there. I yeah. know. It's the, the year is half gone. Most of us have been locked up. Yeah. So mm -hmm. everyone I think is kind of itching to get moving and doing something. Yeah. I think we're kind of all excited to turn the page to, to 2021, <laughs> hoping that it's in a better situation than 2020. But I also would encourage people, you know, live in the moment and make each day the best that it can be. Um, don't just try to shove it under the rug and get to the next year because, you know, we, we really can make, you know, so many impacts on people's lives every single day just by, you know, sharing joy and love with everybody. And so, you know, don't go, don't hide in your house, you know, please be out there, sh share your knowledge, share your love and each day make it the best it can be. Yes, well, I'm sad. I love it. Nice to see you. So share it with us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Great. Absolutely. Well, we look forward to seeing everybody next month for Wind Down Wednesday. It'll be on September 9th. I'm not sure yet who our guest is, but uh, stay tuned for that. <laughs> That's awesome. And have thanks for the wine, Janet. Yes, You're thank welcome. You. Yes, have a great enjoy. evening, everyone, and cheers. Cheers. cheers.